Let me go with Horizons here. So. Oh. Okay, now, <laughs> what I have here, relax. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, no. No, probably not. <laughs> it's pretty unusual. And what this is, it's called a conduct conductometer. Yeah, what it is, it has a handle on it, it has a disc made out of metal, and coming out of this metal disc are five different metals, metal rods. And they're, now, uh, the, the abbreviations are on top, so you can see what they are. This one, what, what kind of metal do you guess this might be? Look at the color of that. Yeah, that's copper. Guys, pay attention. This one, any idea? No, still green. Iron. Uh, it is aluminum. Oh, oh yeah. Aluminum. Oh, this yeah. one is an alloy, which means it's a combination of two metals, and it's abbreviated VR. What do you think it is? Beryllium? Brass. Oh. Brass. <laughs> this one is NI. Nickel? Nickel. Mm -hmm. And this one is FE. Do you remember what that is? Iron. 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 So we got five different types of metal here. Some, most metals in general, most metals are pretty good conductors of heat, meaning that they move heat from one end to the other. Now, have you ever been making soup at home and you stir it with a metal spoon and you leave yeah. a spoon in the pan and you come back and you pick up that spoon and ow, it's hot. Because most metals are really good conductors of heat. So when you're stirring something and you want to leave the spoon in there, what kind of a spoon do you use? Wood. You use a wood spoon because does wood conduct heat as well as metal? No. 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 Well, plastic only if it's that really hard plastic if it's, you know, that flimsy plastic, that will melt, so you have to be careful. Rubber spoons? Do you have rubber spoons at your house? No, no we're probably like talking those. about a spatula. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I know what you're talking The silicone? Am I going to be in this yeah. picture? No, what I did is this conductometer. This? Yeah, she asked me if she could. Was I took these little mm -hmm. metal BBs and I fastened one onto the end of each rod with a little bit of wax so that they're stuck there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the candle flame right under here, and I'm going to heat this. And heat's going to be conducted down each one of these rods. And when the heat gets down there and melts the wax, the BB's going to fall off. Some of them are better conductors than others. Now, again, here's the copper, there's the aluminum, brass, nickel, and iron. The one that falls off first, the one that is, falls the off first is the best conductor. The one that falls off last is the worst conductor. So let's take a look. Strap it in. Strap it in and let's go. Huh? It's crooked. Your dollar. Okay, we ready? Here we go. Uh -oh. Is it, is it perfectly aligned? Yeah, it looks pretty good. What do you think? You got that right under there? there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's watch. Don't blow on it. Don't blow on it. Yeah. Nope. Let's go out. This might be a one. Now, this is copper, aluminum, brass, nickel, and iron. Yeah, you don't want to touch it because it does heat up pretty fast. What do you think is going to fall off? Iron. First? Copper. Uh, uh, Cooper. Copper. Aluminum. Iron. <laughs> I think the skin. John, you better not stand so close. Not blow up. Don't 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 Oh. Oh. Apparently aluminum is a pretty good conductor of heat, and that's why we make our pots and pans at home out of aluminum, because it does conduct heat very efficiently. All of that copper. Yeah, but, <laughs> What's up? Why do we have the aluminum hey. What's up? Because you pound it really, really thin. It's also malleable. Okay, so then what's the sense in like, having a aluminum foil? Oh, look, it's like, it's it's just meant to cover it and seal it. Well, it's really not meant to do anything in terms of heat conduction. Oh, what was that? That was the brass. Hmm. Well, was wrong. Wow, Wervin. He was pretty bad. He no, was amazing. Copper, copper's the best. Brass and aluminum are too thin to keep the heat without losing shape. 
Thank you. Copper's, yeah, and there it goes. There goes the copper. Don't I think I maybe part of the pie? problem we had, usually Did copper you? is second, but I think part of the problem was the flame was blowing that way a little yeah, bit. Really, and it might have unevenly right heated the brass. So what do we have left? We have iron and we have nickel. Do you have? Oh, yeah, they're very hot. Oh, those not so much. Not anymore. That one's going to fall off. Heated up pretty good. Looks like the first right, one. It's, it's cooled off. Oh, awesome, I moved it. Yeah, I'm breathing on the flame, that's not helping. Okay, well, while we're waiting for those to see what happens, let's just move them out of the way here a little bit. Because they take a little bit longer. I have another demonstration. I have two discs. And they've been sitting here in this room, so they are at the same temperature. Right? They haven't done anything to them. They're just discs. They look like hockey pucks. They look like hockey pucks. Um, let me go get my ice cube, excuse me. And again, they have different conductivities, right, at which they conduct heat away. Now, the one that, okay, did we lose the iron? Okay. And the one that's left is nickel. So we don't, we don't make nickel, we don't make pots and pans out of nickel, do we? Because it just doesn't work very well. It doesn't conduct heat very well. Now, back to this one. One of these is a good conductor, one of these is a poor conductor. The good conductor is going to conduct heat into the ice cube and melt it very quickly, yes? And the one that's a poor conductor is not going to conduct heat. Now remember, we're not pulling cold out of the ice to melt it. We're putting heat into the ice to melt it. So the good conductor is going to melt it fast. The poor conductor is going to melt it more slowly. Okay, you tell me which ones, and remember, they're both the same temperature. They've been sitting here in this room the whole time we've been here. Which one's the good conductor and which one's the poor conductor? That one. Wow, that one. I was even going to say that. That's a better conductor. I told you to left one. Dude, it's just like no, it's dirty. Yeah, it's not hot. It's, it's room temperature. What, what, what is, is that? It? Yeah, what kind of metal do you think that is, now knowing Dude. a little bit about conductors? Uh, uh, aluminum? Yeah. It's an aluminum disc. Yes. Uh -huh. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Aluminum is a very good conductor of heat. Look at how quickly it's conducting heat into that ice cube and making that, Charles. How often do you get to see an ice cube melt that fast? Charles, cool. Charles, read without moving That's your lips, okay? That's cool. That's all. Alex, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now, that's melting pretty fast because aluminum is a pretty good conductor. And if you feel that, that's going to be really, really cold now because the heat has left the metal that's disc it. and it's gone into the ice. So now what's left behind when you take heat out, what gets left behind is cold. But there's no cold energy. It's just lack, lack of heat warm. energy. Now, this one... Has it melted at all? No. It's not a darn thing. What do you think that's made out of? Nickel. nickel. No, it's not nickel. Plastic. It's actually wood. Copper. styrofoam. Mm. Well, so hey. why do you think we make insulated drink cups out of styrofoam? Because it doesn't melt. They're very poor conductors, so hot things, will they stay hot inside a styrofoam? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And cold things, will they stay cold inside yes. a styrofoam? Because heat doesn't move through styrofoam very fast at all. So very poor conductor, very good conductor. So we say this is a good thermal conductor, and we say this is a good thermal what? Insulator. 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 Very good. Okay, back to your seats. You know, that nickel is never coming off, because nickel is a terrible conductor of heat.